Hello everyone and welcome back to Technically Unsure where I'm not really sure what I'm doing technically. What am I doing? So today in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys something very different from what I've been showing in this channel, right? It's not a mini computer, we are not building a motherboard, we are not reverse engineering anything. So this is a board that looks very premium. Actually, I was very impressed with like the presentation and the box and everything. It is where you have need for various sensors, right? So if you're like me, you probably have something like this, one of those sensor kits that with all the LEDs and sensors and all that stuff. This is just one of the boxes that I have. So let's say you want to build something for yourself, try something, play around something, do some projects for home automation or something like that. You bring out like breadboard and put a lot of wires, connect every single sensor, check the documentation of every sensor and start communicating over I square C or other methods and get your sensors and things working. But this bad boy that I'm going to show you is actually a tiny 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 board that contains all the sensors and it is called Sensi32. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the Sensi32 that I'm talking about, okay? As it says, it comes with UV light sensor, IR motion and human presence sensor, humidity and temperature sensor, altitude and pressure sensor, 9 DOF orientation IMU sensor, microcontroller is ESP32-S3 which comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. There is 32 megabyte flash memory, USB to serial converter, light intensity sensor, battery charger, RGB LED, and MEMS microphone. So this is a magnetic case. So you open it like that. And it comes with a nifty little paper that explains the sensors and which, where they are located. And the location of like, say, UV light sensor might matter to you, you know, when you are doing some projects, light intensity sensors, microphone location, and all that stuff. It explains here. And also the pinouts, which is very important. Okay, so let's put that aside and take the board out. So this is how it arrives, okay? As you can see, it's a very, very small board and it comes with two USB-C ports. One is USB, one is USB OTG. I can see that tiny sensor right there. So it comes with a lot of sensors. And on the back side, it comes with a pre-installed, pre-mounted. I didn't do this. I didn't mount this, I didn't solder this. Comes with an LC screen on the back side. So imagine that you can take this, right? And let's say you take a Raspberry Pi 5. This one does have the NVMe SSD hat on it. So you can connect this to this or put it together on some fashion and use the USB-C port to connect to this or the GPI opens to connect to this and basically establish a I square C or serial connection, which it does have those things and use this as a sensor board, okay? And I haven't checked it out, but it seems like they also have very, very comprehensive dashboard for this bad boy. So you can make it send the data from these sensors to the dashboard that comes with it. And it's free. So I thought like I have to subscribe and pass it. Nah, I'm not doing that, but it seems like no, it's free. So if you have the board, you can add this board to your dashboard, register an account and add and the sensors data will be sent to the Sensi32 dashboard. That's what I heard. So we are going to take a look at it and check that. So this is a very, very nice box. So the price is also a little bit, but I asked them why it's so expensive. Apparently some of these sensors are really expensive. So one of them, I don't know, it was the human presence sensor, I think. And the IR motion, that one was like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something. So some of the sensors are expensive. And if you do the math for all the sensors, it adds up to it. So I think it is on sale on Tindy. I buy a lot of some from Tindy. So it was there. Okay. So it's 70 bucks. Now I want to take this for a spin myself. I want to program it and showcase and test every single thing in it and see if every sensor works, if LCD works and all that stuff. Okay. So let me grab the wire. What I'm going to do is actually, I am going to start recording my screen. And this is the board that I was talking about, right? Sensi32, this is their GitHub and does they have a lot of examples. And I just cloned the example that's right here. And there is an example for specific sensor 
colors each and every one of them if you really don't want to use all of them you can use just a specific one and the config data stuff it's all documented in here you just have to follow it you just have to install a bunch of libraries that is explained there you have to change your api key if you want to use their dashboard if you don't want to use their dashboard you don't even need to do this part just get the examples to all these libraries for the sensors you install them one by one and then you connect so let's do that basically so i'm going to open up the all sensors and we are going to play around with the all sensors file okay all right so we have it over here the sensors is open and i already updated my config data with my api key and all that stuff okay and this is now what i'm going to do is i am going to connect this port to this oh the light came on okay that's comp 5 that's correct that's my port and i am going to click on compile and upload as is this is their vendor provided sample just cloned from github the only change i did was changing the wi-fi credentials and changing the api key to my key that's all i did so let's see am i missing something all right so there was one small missing thing in the demo as is uh, when i cloned it i just had to add the config data i think they forgot to rename this to config.h anyway i changed that now let's try to upload that code into this board and then what we are going to do is as this is compiling and hopefully will compile and upload i am going to log in into their dashboard sign in so let's wait for this as i have to type okay so it's uploading there you go connecting to unsure okay it connected to my wi-fi sensors reset and i see some stuff over there accelerometer and orientation sensor okay so you see light sensor is there and these are the values pressure sensor is there these are the values 26c which is not 26 honestly but okay and all that stuff sensory data is being okay there you go temperatures humidity all that stuff is being shown in the screen this is beautiful it's already spitting out all the data i just used their sample obviously you have to modify it and make it work for you but it does have accelerometer orientation motion uv sensor temperature human presence light sensor everything in this very very small okay how small is it actually so it seems like it is four centimeter by four centimeter that's very very small okay oh by the way here is what is on the screen okay so it shows the uv light presence sensor i believe every couple seconds it was changing or something yeah there you go x and y and z so that's the orientation sensor so it is just a showcase demo code it goes through every sensor every couple seconds and gives you like four or five seconds to check the results of every sensor goes cycles through every sensor that's in this bad boy i love this thing sensi 32 there's also the text in there okay i j k the values beautiful okay i'm going to put this bad boy over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to log into this okay so i am logged in as you can see on my screen there is one active board it already detected and one active sensor and i see some dashboard information so let's go back to no data in the sensi 32 branch your board upload your code or display your results so there is the light dark mode ah, that's better now so here you will be able to see the sensors and this is my board so if i okay i already have the technical sure logo and board is right there okay Okay, that's my api key and in terms of sensors this is the sensor that i created temperature sensor and i called it room sensor and connected to my board and real-time data critical sensor and save history let's enable those things let's see what happens if we go here it suddenly started working i don't know what it was but i think it took some time for it to actually make the calls but now as you can see it started showing up so the data from this is being displayed on their real-time data data dashboard it automatically refreshed somehow and it started showing so this is not visible okay so we have to go back to light mode this is the accelerometer and the movement sensor orientation these are all the values for orientation okay you see you see the movement i took it up from there and it got some and sensed it and there's a timer obviously the lighting yeah it's very bright as you can see this is my room this is beautiful actually the sensors are on this side so see it went down and if i turn it this way which the where my light 
height is, I'm sure it's gonna go even higher. So there you go. It, there is a bump and a change. So it detects the lights, detects the human presence. There is the movement sensor, accelerometer, pressure, and in here, the pressure sensor, altitude, temperature, humidity, all that stuff, it just shows up. But again, again, you may not want to do that. What's on the screen, okay? This is just their dashboard, their way of showing it, and their sample code that sends data and from these sensors to their dashboard. You may say, okay, I don't want to do that. I just don't like their dashboard. I don't want to use the dashboard. Fine, you can use this. And as you can see, it's still running and you will see that it is spitting out everything on the serial port and TTY, basically it's spitting out everything, right? On the COM port. So imagine you just connect this wire to your Raspberry Pi or UART connection on these ports. So let's find that. Let's see, there you go. So I see the ports, that's one of them. GPIO, five volt PWM, GPIO, RTC. Yeah, so these ports, it seems like this is the UART XD transfer and receive. So send, receive, and TS. You can use these two pins, basically pin number 17 and 18 from this side. So basically here, oh, that is beautiful. That is so nice every small pin in here does have a tiny text underneath that and it tells you the number so you don't really have to count so basically 17 and 18 you can use for uart and through uart you will be able to send the sensor data to your raspberry pi or just use this tiny little board four by four and it comes with esp32 s3 as is you don't need a raspberry pi use this as is just design and print a 3d case for it i don't know if these guys did any 3d printing any case for it but i don't think it's complicated honestly you just have to have openings for certain sensors and opening for the lcd screen if you want to use it if not you can remove it and and then yeah basically put this in a case and it does have all the sensors for everything oh as you can see it changes everything as i'm changing the temperatures the accelerometer and the movement you know it's the technique so again the code is a sample you can go change the value frequency how much it is reading the sensor data and how it is rotating and cycling through the data right you can focus on two or three sensors so one more thing i want to test is actually how much power this bad boy is consuming considering the lcd screen as well but if you don't want it you basically have to one two three you have to desolder this and take this out that's all but as i said let me bring out the meter all right so i have this over here now i am going to plug this in and one watt and it's already okay it's nothing on the screen yet i think it's connecting to wi-fi initializing okay there you go it's there and yep one watt and i'm sure this is not accurate enough to show sub one watt it is showing 0.2 amp actually 0.2 amp 5 volt that's actually one watt so maybe maybe not maybe that's actually one watt and if you remove the screen i'm sure it will impact the wattage at least probably 0.1 watt is going to do this at least maybe more so you will drop the couple more points if you remove the lcd screen and also what i asked was that if i don't use certain sensors would it work would it have lower power consumption and they said yes so I just wanted to introduce you guys quickly to this bad boy. I got the, all the sensors working and as you can see, the real-time data is being displayed. Code documentation is there as you can see on their website. You can use this as a tiny board with all sorts of sensors for various projects that you have. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys liked it. I wanted to show you some guys something a little bit different than what I usually show. And please let me know if you have any questions and you can contact them obviously, but if you guys want me to, I will try to answer your questions regarding ESP32 S3 or the sport specifically. Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.